And I think that's important. You know, you can't feel like somebody owes you something. you got to earn everything that you get. All right? They were not complacent because of past accomplishments. I mean, we are so proud of what you've done. The athletic department, the university, the city of Logan, the state of Utah, what you've done is fabulous. But if you sit and think about that and relax and become complacent, you won't have the kind of year you can have. You can't be complacent. And my group was not complacent, all right? Criticism. I've had some teams that have had not taken criticism as well as maybe I would have liked them to, all right? That group helped each other. If I was on somebody's rear end, they would come over and say, you're all right, man. There would be a different guy come over, you're all right, man, you're all right, you're all right. Constantly helping each other to the point where I'd say, no, he's not all right. He's got to do it better. He's got to do it right. But helping each other, being able to take criticism, knowing your coaches aren't trying to be negative, they're trying to get you better. That's what they're trying to do. And the more you help each other, the harder they can push you. That's, that's, there's just no question about that. Leaders. Didn't have one or two leaders. I had lots. I mean, I had 12, 13 leaders on a 15-man roster. But yeah, there were the guys that led a little bit more than the other guys, but they all kind of took their turns. In different ways, different leaders can step up and do the job for your team. Don't be afraid to be a leader. That is huge. Didn't care about who got the credit. Didn't care about that. They didn't. Very unique. Didn't care about who got the credit. Cared about winning. I had one guy that was an all-conference player, and he I did not start him the whole year long. Because it was better for our team for another guy who wasn't quite as strong mentally to get to start and helped our team, and he didn't care. And that's, that's pretty special when you have guys like that. They had fun. You gotta have fun. Now, I'm not sure that music's fun, okay? But for you guys, it's fun. No, it's it's cool. Uh, <laughs> so I'd only pick out some of those songs, not all of them, but I liked it. I asked a ask coach about it. I liked that. That's positive. Get you going. Get you. You got to think, and you got to you got to be prepared without being able to talk all the time. Everyday guys. Now, ask yourself this: Are you an everyday guy? Are you an everyday guy? I had. A lot of everyday guys. They showed up to work every single day. When my dad raised me, you know, after I got old enough to have kids, I asked him, what's the secret to raising kids? He said, teach them how to work and love them a lot. That's pretty good coaching advice right there. Teach them how to work and love them a lot. He said, also told me, you know, if you want breakfast in bed, you need to sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how he was, you know? I mean, that's how he was. That was... Just understand how much hard work goes into it. So be an everyday guy. The more everyday guys you have that come out every day and do what they need to, the better chance you have of winning. The last thing I want, want to leave you with is when I talk about a special group, you got a chance to be even more special than you already are. You're a special group what you've done already. But take the next step. Take the next step. Be even more special. That's what I would encourage you to do. And you know what? This game you got on Sunday, you need to remember this. There's going to be a hundred and some thousand watching you. They got nothing to do if you're not there. It's not, it's not, I mean, remember that. You start getting nervous. Look at all these people. Well, if you're not there, that's what I always tell my guys who play in a big arena. If you're not there, what the hell are they going to do? They had no tailgate. All right. They had no tailgate. They're just, they got nowhere to go. Because you're there. And show, show them what it's all about.